Well, Governor Dennis Dugard says that we are not going to have a state-run health exchange in South Dakota and uh, that he is adamantly opposed to Obamacare. My friend Nick Reed has been uh, in the insurance business since, what do you say, in Western South Dakota, since Shep was a pup. Long time, Nick. Yeah, about 15 years. And uh, you are getting some interesting correspondence from the Department of Insurance. Yeah. Uh, talk about the one that came May 23rd. That's an interesting one to me. Well, the first thing that was interesting about it was that it came the morning of Memorial Day. Now, a, a lot of these bulletins that, that come through, and I can, I can, I think, safely speak for most insurance agents in the, South, in the state of South Dakota, they are passed by. Uh, very few people read them. I happen to do a, a, a kind of insurance that's, that's heavily regulated, well, so I that, looked at it. And you're something of a techno... Info yeah, I, nerd. Right. I mean, <laughs> thanks. Let's call that it is, what it is. That was a that was a good <laughs> adjective. Um, so yeah, and I and I do like to make sure that I that I stay up with these things. So so I I actually opened it up that morning of of Memorial Day. That's how sad it really is. And read it. <laughs> and actually read it, and and I may have skimmed it, except that the the very first part of the first bulletin caught my attention. Now this is from the state of South Dakota. Yes. And, and this division is, is answers to who? Well, I would say the governor. Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> I guess this is this is the straight scoop. That's right. This seems to be uh, coming from his guys. Okay. The it says this is bulletin 1302. The date on it is April 22nd, which seems strange that they would send it out that much later, but but in any case. So the date you actually got it was when? This, it would have been the, the 23rd. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the I mean the 23rd of May, rather than the 22nd okay, of so April. Okay, so they kind of held it. Maybe it got mm, yeah, stuck under some paperwork something somewhere. Something like that. Oh, okay. What it says is, and this is what caught me right off the bat, it says the filing deadlines in this bulletin apply to all individual and small group health plans subject to the provisions of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. In case you're not familiar with that term, that's Obamacare in the technical term. Right, exactly. And, and that's what surprised me right off the bat is that because, of course, from everything we've heard from the governor, we're going to have no part of that. But it, it goes on to say, each insurer wishing to sell products with effective dates on or after January 1st, 2014, either inside or outside the exchange, must comply with these filing deadlines for rates, forms, and binder filings. It then goes on to talk about how the Department of Insurance will de decide whether or not these are accepted. The Department of Insurance will be the one that says, okay, you can sell within the exchange, you can sell out outside of the exchange. It is, for, so, some, for something that is, that is being completely federally run, as the governor claims, our Department of Insurance seems to be fairly involved. So South Dakota does indeed have an, insur in, an insurance exchange? I, according to the Department of Insurance, absolutely. They ought to know. I would think so. I, I would wonder think so. if maybe somebody forgot to tell the governor? I, that would be my guess. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but it happens in Washington. Why not in South Dakota? Someone at the uh, at the Capitol was working the morning of Memorial Day to send these out. You know, so, it's interesting to me. Uh, Obama says he found out about some of these scandals through the news. Maybe the governor will find out about the fact well, that we have a health exchange. You know he watches this. And it's Obamacare yes. compliant. Absolutely. He certainly watches this program. Wow. So he'll, he'll find out here if he hasn't hey, heard Gov. already. <laughs> he may not have read this memo because, of course, wow. it was Memorial Day. Doesn't this particular memo go on to, uh, to suggest, this memo or one other one you got, suggests that uh, in order to comply with Obamacare, that we are going to disregard South Dakota statute? Yes, absolutely. In the and, and wow, that is in the uh, the follow-up, which is the Spring 2013 Insurance Bulletin, which, of course, again, uh, I, I would say just about as many people actually read. Um, 
I did because it the title on the top well, of it we've already is disclaimed, right. <laughs> the disclaimers out why you already did the the title of it is healthcare reform updates and the very first line says the division of insurance recently adopted rules applicable to the patient protection affordable care act for reforms beginning January 1st okay, 2014 I want to stop you there for two reasons one we're out of time and two I want you to tune back in to find out what the governor is really doing and what the insurance division is really saying behind the scenes.